So we we'll look at the fall. Then after the fall, uh, God has uh, given promise to Adam and Eve to save them. Uh, and we'll see uh, as to how God uh, reacted after the fall of uh, Adam and Eve. We'll see the, the divine dilemma. Uh, we'll see the incarnation of the world. Uh, we'll see the days of Christ. Uh, then the resurrection of uh, Christ. And finally, we'll conclude uh, uh, the lesson. Uh, so for today, we'll see first the uniqueness of humans as uh, creators, as God's uh, creators. Uh, how many creators did God create? How many? Do you have any idea about how many creators, the creatures were created by God? <coughs> I think the angel. Uh, how many in total? How many creatures did God create? Creator. How many creatures? Creatures. 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 Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> I'm sorry for, 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 for <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Creatures. Creatures, yeah. Yeah, he created many. I think many. Uh, 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 A lion, elephant. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> when did God start <laughs> creating? When did God start creating? Uh, which day? Which day? Which creation? The first day. Yeah, the first the day first of day. creation. Yeah. It says. No, no, no. The first day. When did, when, when? When did God start creating? When which on, day? On From the, the seven days. On the Sunday. It was on? Sun. Sunday. Sunday is the first day of creation. He created just the <coughs> heaven and earth. He created angels. He created just many things, beginning from Sunday, and he completed creation of the heaven and the earth. In which day? Saturday. No, no, no. He completed on Friday. Friday. And on Saturday, what did God do? He rested. The Bible says. God rested on Saturday. Does that mean God feels exhausted? No. No. God is not a human being. It is us who feel tired, who feel exhausted. And there is no exhaustion in the nature of God. But because the Bible is written in our own language, in our own understanding, the Bible says, God then rested. God rested. It says God rested. And he gave us uh, just the Sabbath for us to rest. To rest and see as to what we have done over the previous six uh, days. If we have done something good, that is what we have to do again the following week. If we have done something bad, we have to uh, repent, repent, so that uh, we receive God's forgiveness. Otherwise, God is not like a human being who needs to uh, take a rest. And the Sabbath is given to us as an example of the kingdom of God in heaven. We labor a lot in this uh, secular life in the world. When we live in the world, we labor a lot. We have to pray. We have to do this. We have to do that. And when do we rest? When, we, when do we take a complete rest? When we depart to Him. When we depart to God, we take a complete rest. So the kingdom of God is a place of uh, just uh, resting and praising God. So the Sabbath is given to us as an example, as an example of uh, what we uh, are going to have uh, at the end of uh, this world. So when we see the uniqueness of human beings as God, God's creators, one unique characteristic of us 
in comparison with other creatures is that we are created in the, in the image of whom? In the image of who? God. We are created in the image of God. Lions do not look like God. Angels, even angels, they do not look like God. It is only us, human beings, that look like God. <laughs> and we now, uh, we have come to know this from uh, what is written uh, in the Holy Bible, uh, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. It is written that, And God said, God said, let, let us make man in our image, after our likeness. God uttered this word only when uh, he wanted to create us, human beings. Is it not great that we are created in the likeness of God? By the way, uh, in the church books, uh, in church scriptures, it is written that uh, Angels, they just wanted to take and look at Adam. Why? Why? Because through Adam, they wanted to see who? God. By looking at Adam, they came to understand how God looks like. So, we human beings, yeah? We human beings are created in the image and likeness of God. You see how superior, how glorious is our creature? We are glorified. God created as a unique uh, creature, unique from any other uh, uh, creatures. Uh, the other Uniqueness in our uh, creation is uh, the way how we were created. By the way, uh, God created, there are some uh, creatures that were created through thought. When God thinks that there should be some creature, creature, there will be. Uh, let me finish this one and I will come back to your question. So through thought, God created some, some of the creatures. God also created some through his word. It is written in the Holy Bible that when God says, let the earth bring forth plants, then the plants start to emerge. <laughs> you see, he created some through just his words. And he created only human beings through his, his deeds. Through his words, through his thought, through his word, and his, through his deeds. How did he create human beings? How did he create us? The Bible tells us that uh, the Lord God, if you look at Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. The Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. He formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. He had to take dust of the ground and he had to mold, he had to make a man. <laughs> he had to think about creating a man. Then he then said, let us create man in our image and in our likeness. Then he took the dust of the ground and he created a man, Adam. And he then uh, breathed the breath of life through the nostrils of Adam. Then Adam became, became just uh, a human, uh, just the first human being to be, to be created by, <coughs> by God. You see how you, unique we are? So he created human beings in this way. There is no any other creature created in the same way we were created. Our, the way we were created is very unique, very unique. It's different. Different from the way 
angels were created, different from the way heaven and earth were created. Okay? So, we were unique, very unique. Okay? What more did God do to human beings? God appointed human beings to have dominion over all other creatures. God has been, God were creating beginning from Sunday up to just Friday. And the last creation was, the last creature, the creature was Adam. Adam is the last. He created Adam and Eve after he created every other creature. And this clearly shows that all the other creatures were created for the service of us human beings. Some of them, we use them in our daily life. Some of them, we use them to glorify God. For instance, from those that live uh, in the wilderness, uh, there are some that we eat, and there are some that we just watch and glorify God. For instance, when you look at uh, a lion, we don't eat a lion, but we eat uh, buffalo. I don't know whether uh, people here eat buffalo. No. Some, some, but not, it's not a... Uh, there are among those that can be eaten. Yeah, right. some people who are just hunters can... Yeah, because they, they are usually, just yeah. like uh, ox and... Uh, yeah, and yeah. Cow. Yeah, and they yeah in, in, in Lesotho they eat a horse, but they don't... Okay. Uh, in, in other places, like in Transkai, they don't eat a horse. Okay. But okay. Uh, they usually eat only okay. the... Please. I mean, they eat the papar, but you know, when, as time went by, they were hunted and they were, they were finished. Okay, the buffaloes. The buffaloes. Yeah. So they were taken to the How Kruger. Those? They, okay. they were taken to the Kruger National Park. So okay. we don't see them yeah. anymore. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, 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 Just the yeah. point is, uh, all the creatures were created for our service. And we eat some of them, we just use for different purposes, others. For instance, God created gold so that we can use gold for many purposes. God created, for instance, timber so that we can build houses. God created stones so that we can carve the stone and make it just a nice looking house. So every other creature was created for our service. You see how glorified is, how glorious is our uh, just uh, creature, creation. Uh, uh, when you look at uh, Genesis chapter 1, uh, uh, verse 26, uh, it is written that, uh, that uh, and let them have, this is uh, God speaking, he says, let them have, who? Human beings. Let human beings have dominion over the fish of the sea. Dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air, those that fly on the sky, and dominion over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. You see, God gave human beings dominion over all the creatures. All the creatures. Then, uh, he also, uh, it also uh, was written on Genesis uh, 2, uh, verse 19, uh, God brought Adam and Eve, uh, no, no, all the creatures unto Adam, to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name there. You see? God brought the lions, the zebras, the chimps, this and that to Adam. And Adam named each of them. It is Adam who named the lion a lion. It is Adam who named a zebra a zebra. In fact, it is, uh, this is an English language, 
the original uh, language which Adam used to speak uh, was quite different from English or from uh, even uh, any other language we have at present in the world. But suggesting you could do this. Pardon? Pardon? Then you suggest that language could do that. Ah, very difficult to guess. Uh, <laughs> mind you, we are talking about uh, something that happened over more than 7,000 years ago. So very difficult to speculate. But it, 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 it will be very much closer to languages spoken within the Middle East. It may be closer to Hebrew. It may be closer mm. to... Because uh, well, I once heard about the name Ixabahir that it was used uh, like even during times of Adam, but I'm not sure whether okay, yeah, yeah. which language... It may be closer to Hebrew. Yeah, it must be close yeah. to... So, Adam <coughs> named the... Just, God didn't give name to the creatures. Instead, he led Adam to name them. You see how glorified was the creation of uh, Adam? The other uh, unique thing about uh, human beings is that God created a special place of domicile for humans. He didn't just let Adam to live with the animals. What did he do? God created Eden. He created Eden so that Adam and Eve live inside the Eden. This is the most beautiful place the most beautiful, the most gracious place. And God used to visit Eden very frequently. And Adam and Eve had the chance to hear God's voice almost every day. So he didn't let Adam and Eve to uh, just fight for a place with uh, other creatures. God created a special place of do domicile for Adam and Eve. And, uh, Adam and, uh, Eve. and uh, we understand this from what is written uh, in Genesis chapter 2, verse 8. Uh, it says, And the Lord God, the Lord God planted, listen carefully, the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden. Eastward in Eden. And there he put the man whom he had formed. For Adam, he created, he formed a garden, a very beautiful garden for Adam to live in. And he uh, put man uh, uh, in that uh, very special.